Welcome to the dual record player Stereo Pimple replacement guide. The first step is to open the lid and take it off. Put it on the side. Next, you take off the platter. And then we take off the cartridge. When we go over to the cartridge, we should make sure that we first put down the protective guard if your cartridge has one. Then you take the sled of the cartridge with your left hand and the lever, this lever with your right hand, push it back. Some of the models of the dual record players have a screw in the top. Uh, if that's the case with your record player, you should first undo the screw and then uh, pull the lever. The next step is to take off the cable guard. For that, we have to turn the record player around. And push, push the back over the edge of the table. Then when we look at the back of the record player, we can see the cable guard here. Some models have a metal cable guard with a screw in the middle. In that case, you should undo the screw and then pull it down. If it's a plastic one like this one, you push in these tabs on the side while you pull down on the cables. The next step is to take it out and slide this plastic part out of there, like so. The next step is to undo the screws from the record player. This Dual 701 has three screws, but some models also have two screws and other models open from the back. In the case of the Dual 701, you undo these three screws so they hang in there loosely. If they're too tight in the beginning, I would advise you use a coin like this one to slide it in the top of the screw and turn it around to give it an extra push. Then you put your finger in between the record player and the casing and you push the screw backward like so. In close-up it looks like this. You put your finger in between it, tilt the screw and lift the base up. Then when you have this you slightly screw the screw in further so it sticks like this. We repeat the same process for the other two screws as well. Then you make sure that the head shell is firmly in place so it doesn't flop around when you turn around the record player. If this thing doesn't work anymore in your record player, I would recommend you use a tie rip around the arm or a piece of uh, tape. Then we come to the trickiest part, which is turning around the record player. Make sure that on the left there's enough space for the arm to be so it doesn't bump into anything. You lift up the record player. In the meanwhile, we make sure that the cables are following through nicely. Set it on its side, gently turning it upside down while looking at whether the arm is free, like so. When the record player is upside down, we can recognize a couple of components. This first component is a spinning disc, which is activated when you press the button to start. This spinning disc will then latch on to this lever and this lever will guide the arm into the correct position on the record player. Now the Stoyer pimple is situated beneath this arm. In this case the arm is made of metal, but sometimes it can also be made of plastic. The Stoyer pimple is this device. It's a piece of rubber and usually it's become hard and that's why the record player doesn't function anymore. So you take a set of tweezers and pull the old Stoyer pimple out. The next thing you do is take your stirrer pimple and grab your tweezers to take the stirrer pimple out of the bag. Then we will position the stirrer pimple in this manner between the tweezers. Slide it on there and make sure that it's firmly pressed down. The other thing that you should take care of is that you make sure it doesn't hit the lever when it's in this position. Now it's time to put the record player back together again. You undo the screws. 
set the record player back in its original position. Next you tighten the screws, but don't really tighten them fully yet. Not until you've tested it. To test it, first make sure that the cartridge is not in here. Undo the arm. Hit the start button and slowly turn the wheel in clockwise direction with your arm. This seems to be in correct working order. Make sure that when you put the platter back on, you don't scratch the paint. The next thing to do is add this cable guard again. So for that, we turn the record player towards us, with the back towards us. And hang it over the side of the table, like so. Next, we put the cable guard back together. Separate the cables, hold the cable guard like this, slide the cables in, and add these plastic clips in this manner, with the bulb heading facing towards you, and the, wet, the thicker wedge side on the top. Then sim simply slide them in like so, and then you slide the cable guard back in. You can see that there's two little feet here. And these two little feet go underneath the plastic. Put it in like this. Make sure it clicks. Check if it works. Then we take the cartridge, like so, and we put it back in. If it is flush with the top of the head shell, then you pull the lever towards you, so it's in a 90 degree angle. If you first undid the screw, make sure that you retighten it now. So if we look at it from another angle, it looks like this. Make sure that this slides in first, then wiggle it up, hold it and push the lever back. The next step is to check if the screws are properly tightened. There's three in this situation. You can use a coin like this to tighten them a bit faster. Then we take the dust cover and we slide, slide it back in, like so. And in close-up it looks like this. Make sure that the dust cover is properly seated in the hinge and that the hinge is sticking out. And then you can close it. Now there is only one thing left to do and that is to test the record player with the record. Make sure that the first time you test it, you guide the arm. So if it drops next to the platter, you will be able to catch it before the needle hits anything and damages. As you can see, in this case, it nicely falls into the correct position. If this is not the case, you can adjust the positioning by moving this lever over to the 45 side, where it will reveal a hole. If we look at this hole from the top, we can see that there is a screw inside the hole. You can put a flat screwdriver in it and only turn it a very little bit. Turning it clockwise, like so, we'll set it about half a centimeter closer to the inside and turning it counterclockwise this much will have the opposite effect. Then we will test it one last time while guiding the arm again. Make sure that the speed lever is in the 33 position for your 33 RPM record player. and guide the arm while it's going onto the record. As you can see, in this case, it perfectly falls into the edge of the groove, not too far in, not too far out.
Now there's only one thing left to do, and that is enjoy your music. If you want to buy the Story Pimple, you can find the link to our website in the description below. If you have any questions, please leave them as a comment underneath this video. Good luck with repairing your own record player, and thank you for watching.